welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my April favorites video, so if you're interested, just keep watching. First item that I want to talk about that's a favorite is an oldie but a goodie. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Now I saw so many people pick these up during the VIV sale and it's always fun to see people grabbing one of my favorite foundations. This is just the perfect color match for me. Um, this is in the shade Syracuse, which is medium dark one. It's perfect. I don't know what it is about this foundation. It's long lasting. It's full coverage on me. Some people don't think it's full coverage, but on my skin, it just works amazingly. Great price point. The only thing I hear a lot of people criticize is that it doesn't come with a pump, but NARS does sell a pump separately. It's like six bucks and you can usually find them at Sephora. So if you haven't tried out the NARS Sheer Glow and you have dry skin, I would totally recommend picking this up and giving it a try. Next item I've been absolutely loving to death and it's so dirty, this is kind of embarrassing, but it's the L'Oreal um, foundation sponge. This thing is super, super soft, bouncy. I love the shape. I can actually get it like right under my eye here. So it's really great for concealer as well. Usually people would think to use a pointy side, but I love pressing this up against my you know, waterline and it really, really blends my foundation and my concealer and it's like $8. So if you are looking for a new makeup sponge, definitely check out the L'Oreal sponge. Next item I've been loving is the Too Faced Love Flush blushes. I don't have all of them, but I just wanted to show you one. This one is I Will Always Love You and it's like a peachy orange shade. And I think especially going into spring, it just gives a nice pop of color on my cheeks. It's like a beautiful peachy shade and it goes really well with my tan. These are also really long lasting and I love the packaging and these were on really, really awesome sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. So I did pick them all up, but I just wanted to highlight one of these in my April favorites video for you guys. Next thing I've been loving is of course highlighter. The Aurora Glow Kit has been blowing my mind. I've been using this on friends and family as well and I just think this is such a fun palette. I don't know why people don't like this. I mean it is glittery but it's not bad by any means. I mean I don't find like flakes of glitter all over my face. I think these colors are so so fun and a lot of these don't look as pigmented like you're not gonna look straight up like a grape if you wear you know spectra and then I think like Eclipse, Lyra, Luna are such great everyday shades. I love the shade Lyra. It is like the perfect like hint of peachy highlight on my face. It looks so so natural. This is gonna be my go-to highlighter for spring. I just know it. Okay I have another highlight I want to talk about and this is actually the one I'm wearing. This is the Milani highlight in the shade Glowing. I think is what it is. It kind of looks like a bronzer, but it's honestly an awesome highlight for my skin tone. It looks so natural, but it's like bling bling, you know? And this is like a $10 highlight. It reminds me a lot of Becca's Topaz. The formula is really nice, and I like to use it with the Anastasia A23 brush. It just blends into my skin and just gives it like that wet look and I love it and it's so affordable. I can totally see myself just wearing this all the time. Next favorites I wanna talk about are my eye favorites. I just wanted to give this palette a shout out. It did come back in stock in April and it sold out like instantly, but this is the Color Drain Queen of Hearts palette. Honestly, one of my all time favorite palettes. I love the packaging, the shades. I might still do like a tutorial with this palette for the people that have the palette. And also, you know, Color Drain is an indie brand and they will come out with other palettes. So even though you weren't able to get your hands on this, just know that the next palette that comes out, grab it while it's out, you know. Um, I think these shadows are unbelievable. So I will definitely be at some point reviewing and tutorializing this palette for you guys just so you can keep an eye out on a great brand like Color Drain. Next item I want to talk to you guys about is a really affordable eyeliner. This is the Essence Gel Eye Pencil and Waterproof. This is the one I showed you guys in my Alta haul that I accidentally sharpened but it's actually a twist up. But I didn't do too much damage to it. It still works really well. It's pretty pigmented. I mean, it definitely does, you know, need a little bit of tugging, but it's not bad. I think for a dollar fifty or however much this eyeliner is, it's definitely not more than like three bucks. It's amazing. It does last really well. I really wish I hadn't sharpened it, but that was my own fault. So if you're looking for a nice affordable eyeliner, check out the Essence Gel Eye Pencil in Waterproof. This is just the black one that I have. So now I want to talk to you guys about lips and my lip go-to combination has been the Buxom Dolly Lip Gloss with one of these um, ColourPop 
blotted lips I think this is like the perfect combination guys so I have two of the Colourpop um, blotted lips I have Deja Vu and Exotic I did recently order some more from their new collection that they did but Deja Vu is like the perfect mommy shade and I just love these because it just gives you like a hint of color perfect for spring and summer and then my friend net me from the style folder convinced me to get the shade Exotic and this one is just going to be lit for summertime. It's like a beautiful, it gives me like a kiss by a popsicle kind of shade. Just so, so pretty. And what I like to do with these is when I'm wearing them, I like to top them off with the gloss. So it literally looks like I've just eaten like a popsicle because it gives it that glossy, like it's just like a wet look. Really like soft and I've gotten so many compliments because it literally looks like a popsicle look. And so super pretty, that's Dolly with Exotic and Dolly with Deja Vu. My go-to combination of April. I think it's just so perfect for spring. Gets away from those like heavy matte lipsticks that we've been wearing all of winter. Okay guys, now I hate to repeat myself, but a lifestyle favorite for this month again are my nails. I got hooked up by my girl Vina at Ad Nails here in Fargo. She did this awesome like holographic glitter nail for me, um, a gel nail, and she does such an amazing job. This is like week two for my nails, so they are definitely growing out. Kind of embarrassing. I try to wear them as long as I can. I can't afford to get my nails done weekly, but if you're looking for an awesome nail place, definitely check out App Nails. I'm not sponsored. I just think they do such a great job, so definitely check them out. My other lifestyle favorite are these awesome shoes by Target. They are like a little sandal by the shade Mer Merona, I believe. And these are so comfy, guys, and they're so stylish. I get compliments on that everywhere I go, and they were like under $25. So I have these, and I have the reds, and my mom actually bought the same pair, too. She is a lot older than me, but again, like I said, because of the short heel, it's very, very comfortable. These are so stylish, and I can't wait to wear these in to spring and summer. Okay, now I'm gonna be a negative Nancy and talk about some of my unfavorites. Now I wanted to talk about my rocks box this last month. I was so disappointed because the earrings made my ears itch. One of the necklaces fell on the ground and broke. So that was super disappointing. And yeah, I was just like not happy with rocks box. So I did end up sending that back early, which usually never happens. I don't have any of the stuff to show you guys. Um, I'm gonna do it one more time and see if I get anything that I want. Otherwise, I'm really contemplating canceling my rocks box. Um, because yeah, I don't know. I just feel like their jewelry selection's okay, but they haven't really been blowing me away. So that's one of my unfavorites for the month of April. The next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. I was so excited to try this and I've heard so many people say really really good things about this but for me I just uh, I don't know what it was. It just like emphasized my pores. I felt like it wasn't like covering my face well. From a distance it looked really good but when I got up close and looked at my face in the mirror I didn't feel like it was doing a very good job. So this is one of my unfavorites. I don't know, I just feel like I have better foundations out there and I just wanted to let you guys know. If you've tried this, can you tell me how you like to apply it? Because I tried it with a brush, a beauty blender, I just didn't feel like it was doing very good on my face. And I bought the shade Tan Sand, just in case you want like a color reference. And then my last unfavorite of the month is the Pirates of the Caribbean eyeshadow palette. I don't like this palette. I don't know if my review will be up before this. Um, probably not. I think my April favorites video is gonna go up first so you guys are getting a sneak preview not a fan of this palette but I will have a full review up on my channel soon okay guys that is it for my April favorites video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any favorites you want me to check out definitely leave them down below I would love to hear what you guys' April favorites are thanks so much for watching and have a great day guys bye